Hello, I'm Adrian from the vascular team. I was called to come up and go through nursing care of sequential compression sleeves. Oh thanks, Adrian. It was me who rang you, I'm Ruth. I have a patient who has to have sequential compression sleeves. I'm not very familiar with them at all. No problem. Let me show you how they work. Compression sleeves are used for the prevention of DVTs and are customized for each patient. So they are more sophisticated than anti-embolic stockings, are they? That's right. Anti-embolic stockings are quite simple really in comparison. The sequential compression sleeve system has three parts. You can see them here. There's an electric controller with non-disposable tubing attached to it. The tubing fits onto the single-use compartment sleeves. Oh, right. So how does it work? The three sections deliver sequential and gradient compression to ensure clearance of the deep veins. This means that each section, or chamber, delivers pressures from 60% to 100%, depending on the amount of pressure required. The aim is to create pressure around the calves and improve venous return. So which patients do you use these sequential compression sleeves on? They are for high-risk surgical patients who can't be given anticoagulants. Oh, that's why they've been suggested for Mr. Ellis, isn't it? Yes, unfortunately he wasn't able to take anticoagulants. Can the sleeves be adjusted at all? Yes, and it's quite easy to do. The sleeve easily converts from a tie-length sleeve to an E-length sleeve. They're very versatile, aren't they? Yes, they're great. They make a big difference.